back to sex casts, breaking down the wrist part six or 6B, if you've already caught alto version. Um, we've split this so you can kind of catch it on both instruments. And this riff this week is uh, different on both instruments because it's the backing track that's the same. So uh, you'll get benefit if you play alto um, or tenor, you can learn it on both instruments. So I thought that'd be helpful. The story behind this lick is um, I have a student who has been asking me to work out um, solos for them and pointed me in the direction of this particular lick which I'll play again for you, is so cool. And the backing track, as you might have picked it out, or from the uh, description, is Forget You, which is a CeeLo Green uh, amazing tune. And most of the melody is, is on this rendition by a sax player. Apologies if I say your name wrong, uh, Dehan Chow. Uh, link will be on here. Um, at 50 seconds, that little lick is, is dropped in amongst the rest of the melody, and it's super cool. So on tenor, we need to be thinking about D pentatonic. So D. Or two octaves if you want. So D, E, F sharp, and then A, B. And over the two octaves to high D, if you want to just practice that scale, it's always good to get your fingers round the scale before you then start looking at the patterns. And building on from the last two lessons where we kind of started introducing blues notes, this is adding a little bit of chromaticism. And all that means is that we kind of zigzag between, if it was on a keyboard, the white notes and the black notes. And that makes it sound quite cool and quite hip. The first note we're going to play is part of the chromatic scale and not part of our D pentatonic, so sorry about that. The first note you're going to be playing is this one. So if you think you can work that out, great. If not, I'll help you. And if you want me to play this and then you can pause it and work on it at home, I'll do it one more time for you from the beginning. So you can stop. Work it out, I've given you the start notes, maybe just have a, a think about. So our pentatonic. Um, it's not there, that note does not belong. Okay, so instead of playing an F natural, which is there, it's a semitone down. We've been talking about semitones in part five and part four. So if you haven't caught those already, maybe catch that. So we're going to do F natural. Okay. And then I'll play the first part of this and see if you can figure out what's happening. So if you've learnt any chromatic scales, it's, it's just that ascending. So F, then F sharp, then G, then G sharp then A. All of this is with your thumb down, by the way. So, da, 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 little tiny gaps. Practice it really steady if you're unsure. And that should help you get a little bit of fluency. You could work it back down again if you want it. Just to kind of get that movement going. So that's the first little chunk. And then after that, all of those notes are part of the pentatonic, so hopefully you'll get a little bit of a shot to be able to work that out. So after we've done the da 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 da, see if you can work that note out. It's the F sharp, and then we're going lower. Da da. Next note down in the pentatonic, da da D. Da da da. One more note down again on the pentatonic. Da di da. And then to finish we go da da. And a little fall off if you think you can manage that. Uh, and the da da is our pentatonic start note. So from the beginning. Okay, so as we've done before, I'm going to put on a backing track. What I'm using for you at the moment is um, I just searched Forget You karaoke, so there wasn't any singing on in the background. If you wanted to, you could play along with the original because it's in the same key uh, and maybe try and learn the melody. That would be really cool. 
Um, so I'm going to do it half tempo for now, just so you can kind of play along and then we'll, we'll build it up. So it's going to go da 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 and hopefully that will work for you. To, you can then build that tempo up as long as your fingers are fluent and you can carry that through uh, so I'll do it the full speed for you and then if you wanted to you can add some improvisation uh, using the pentatonic okay so full tempo your comments I do try and read through them and uh, reply and all your likes etc really help to kind of lift the profile of Saxcasts uh, so if there's anything else you want to do on this channel there are loads of other songs you could be picking up but this is now part 6b uh, so if you want to go back into the previous episode and see whether or not there's other things you want to be learning um, and I'll get some sorted for you uh, for the next time so thank you so much for joining us and as ever guys happy saxing all right bye